OCR with AI has come a long way, but still there is something lacking. Especially when you try to do OCR in production environment, you feel that all of these VLMs or vision language models, they lack something not only in terms of speed, but also in terms of quality. When you compare them to the usual OCR tools, it seems that VLMs are still not ready for their prime time. That is why I am quite excited to share this points reader model from Tencent, which brings a unique feature or maybe I would say a fresh blow of air to this OCR arena powered by AI. It's a new generation VLM or vision language model designed specifically for end to end document conversion. And we are going to install it in this video and test it out. This is Fahad Birza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So the main question here is how this model is different from other OCR systems that often break down tasks into multiple steps like detect text regions, recognize characters, then re re reassemble the layout. This model directly takes in a document image and outputs clean structured text in one go. What makes it stand out is that it avoids the usual distillation approach where smaller models are trained to mimic larger teacher models. I will be talking more about its architecture but for now let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I'm creating a virtual environment. While it creates, let me introduce you to our very good friends at dat1.co who are sponsoring this video. They have recently added a collection of pre-deployed models for various use cases like image generation or splitting audio tracks. You can try dat1.co through their user interface and API is also available. That one also accepts requests to deploy pretty much any open source model. So if you're missing something and you want any other new model, you can always reach out to them. Their link is in video's description. Okay, our virtual environment is created. Now, next step is to git clone their repo. And surprisingly enough, they have um, come up with another uh, GitHub repo, which is vpoints. And I was not aware of this project and this seems like a very good project with also a few other models which I will be covering later down the road. So let's git clone it and you can find the link in video's description. Once you have git cloned it, all you need to do is to install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo. While it installs, let me introduce you to the mass compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price with a discount coupon code of 50%, you can find the link in video's description. While it installs everything, let's talk a bit more around this model. Now, what happens is that this model follows a two-stage strategy. First, it learns from massive amount of auto-generated synthetic data with unified formats for plain text tables and formulas. Then it refines itself by iteratively improving on real world documents through self-generated and filtered annotations. This process lets it achieve high accuracy on benchmarks like Omni doc bench without inheriting the biases or limitations. I will give you a bit more information around architecture, but for now let's launch it and test it out. And everything is installed. Let me now launch the Gradio demo from the root of the repo. And the first time when you run this, this uh, downloads the model. So let's wait and then we will access it in the browser. Now let's access it in our browser at localhost at port 7860. I'm just going to go with this one. And the Gradio demo is loaded. Let me select a document from my local system. Maybe I will just go with this uh, email first. And I just want to, uh, you know, extract this email, which is a bit blurry. It's not extremely, uh, I would say, good, but let's try to run this. And there you go. It has extracted something. You see that there is a search button and there was some mumbo jumbo at the top. I'll show you actually. So this is what my actual image is. You see at the very top, because this is an AI generated one. So at the very top left, 
these are some illegible characters but it has ocr them like f e n w now and then explain here something like that and if i just go back here and show you you see this n is r um so it this is a mistake but other than that it has done well if you read through it so this is extracted contact i'm just going to go down and if i quickly read through it e section i'm just you know skimming through it so on the first look looks okay to me i don't think so it has made any mistakes but here and there few irregular irregularities but overall pretty good stuff also you know this is a marked on the same thing which you can check out okay so but this is the main uh, area of interest for me let's try to do a multilingual one i'm just going to go with arabic manuscript i don't think so it is multilingual i think it is just uh um i would say bilingual maybe i will just try out another image quickly and i'm just going to use this as an uh, image and while it runs let's also check the vram consumption so it is consuming 8.5 8.6 gig of vram as you can see here and it has done something you see uh, it has tried to do something but not much here i'll also show you this is the one i don't see any english here but if you look at the results there is some english i'm not sure why okay so i think it is just bilingual english chinese let's try out one more next up i am going to use this handwritten note with some cross out words the paper is crumpled the quality is not that good let's check out the performance and if i <clears throat> sorry if i compare it so these spellings are correct comma is there and then even you know cross out word i think it has got it right every moment with is a treasure i know with with you see there are two with and it has got it right and i like you with and then i like your alt love yep i long to see you again you see it is pretty good so text it done it does very very well let's try to check out this tabular data and i'll show you this just a table with some of the um, numbers and some matrices features let's see how it goes with it let's wait and there you go so it has generated a pretty good html and if i quickly skim through it i think looks good to me i'm not exactly checking in detail but as far as my i can see looks pretty good and finally i'm teasing the model with this merit certificate in urdu let's see if model can do that or not i'm pretty sure it won't be but let's check and as was expected it cannot really read urdu or any other language other than english or chinese but i think as far as english is concerned it has done wonderfully well let me know what do you think if you like the content please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support